What's up guys, Dark Dally here for another day of Character Build Week here on Ghost Recon Wildlands. I know I did release a video earlier today that was just simply a sniper rifle bullet drop test to kind of finish that off. I still, of course, want to do Character Build Week today. We need another clue to the movie quote that's going to win you the backpack. And it's really actually an awesome backpack. I just want to say that I got it in the mail yesterday. And I was expecting something cheap, but no, it's actually a good solid backpack that... Uh, I would totally pay 60 bucks for it at the store. It's, it's really nice. It does have still have Weaver's name on it, but if you want, you can rip that off. It's, uh, it's a really solid backpack. I just want to say, if you're not familiar with the giveaway, a link to the giveaway will be in the um, description of this video. It's a short two-minute video, which explains all the rules so that you know what you're doing when I give you the code word in today's video. All right, that said, let's get to it. Let's continue with our All-American build. Now, I've had yet more requests for the Wilderness Rifle, so I did actually just now go in by it. Notice I have all these new notifications up here. This is me unlocking the Deluxe Edition. Um, so I'll have to check out all the other crap later. But first, let's check this guy out. Let's uh, let's put it over the second 12. And let's check it out. I've just, I've had, I had several requests for the Saiga, but I've had even Saiga, Sega? <laughs> I think it's Sega. Um, I But I've had overwhelming requests that this should be in the loadout now well let's go ch let's go check it out guys L let's go check out the wilderness there's still some other stuff i want to buy and i'll get to that here in a second let's check this gun out all right all right all right all right so it looks like this is a double barrel shotgun it is that is a fast reload someone said it has a really fast reload and I think it was the comment, I, I'm sorry, uh, I'm a little late again today, so I don't have time to put comments up on my screen, but there was a there was a viewer who commented on a Longmire build that he liked to do, and he used this shotgun, and I believe that was the comment that said it has a really fast reload, and boy, beguile, it does. Very nice. That's a pretty fast reload, too. That's, you know, the shorty has only got a two-round uh, magazine, and it, it takes a sec, because you got to reload... Well, it reloads slower than this, that's for sure. Very nice stuff. Now, I, st I think I'm still going to stick with the Sega 12 for the All-American build. And the reason is not because I don't think this would fit. This is the thing that a lot more people here have than a semi-auto shotgun. But... I kind of want to do a cowboy build, especially after reading that particular comment. He said he used the uh, Stampede. He said he also used this. And I think the Wilderness, though may though it may be a good rifle for this All-American build, I think that combined with the Stampede here and some cowboy clothes from that Ghost Pack, the Last Chance Ghost Pack, which I'll have to pick that up too, I think that might just make the ultimate cowboy build. That plus the Peacemaker or or that cool Civil War revolver or something might just make a, um, I think that was the Peacemaker, it might just make an even better cowboy build. So I like it, but I like it enough. I'm gonna actually going to hold off on, on it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick with the Sega 12 for this build but thanks everyone so much for suggesting the wilderness over and over and over saying how good a rifle it is because i totally agree i want to hit a couple other comments and then we'll get to some fun stuff here um one commenter mentioned that the shirt <laughs> and uh I, again i wish i had time to put comments up on the screen if i was starting this video earlier in the day i would but i got held up with other things including the video i did just earlier today these take time so i don't have time to put comments on the screen but someone said it looks like an employee at best buy <laughs> that made me laugh that made me laugh so uh shout out to him though i, I don't have the comment in front of me uh, kind of the same thing i thought about the khaki pants now someone also suggested that I use a hunter camo style shirt and blue jeans. Now, I want to comment on some of these clothing comments, okay? I went through a lot of clothing options building this character to look like a, a typical American. And well, yes, the typical American does wear blue jeans on a daily basis. We're talking about a gun enthusiast who has spent thousands of dollars getting a customized M4A1, you know, and a uh, Sega 12. Why is my... Uh, I didn't get my loadout right now. 
But I think someone who spent so many thousands of dollars on these weapons knows how to shoot them and, ha and has their know-how would know that though they may wear jeans on a day-to-day -day basis, if you if you were going to a combat situation in Bolivia, you wouldn't wear jeans. From my own personal experience, uh, BDU trousers are are the thing to wear. I can say personally, my own pair of BDU trousers from when I served, I, I still have them, of course, like everyone else does. They have resisted everything from cigarette burns to, at one point, a 40 mile an hour motorcycle crash. And though the rest of me was broken and bruised and bloody, my trousers were actually fine. Those things are tough. I don't know what they make them out of, but if anyone who knew anything about guns was going to a military conflict in another country, they wouldn't wear jeans. They would wear some kind of loose, baggy combat, you know, cargo pants. However, I do agree with the shirt thing. And the the commenter who mentioned the, the hunter camo, that's actually not a bad idea. In fact, as it happens, I'm wearing a mossy oak shirt right now. Not for any reason. I'm wearing jeans and a mossy oak shirt. Uh, people who like guns tend to pick up hunter camo at Walmart because there's such an abundance of it. That's actually not a bad idea. If I didn't have a whole stockade full of military surplus gear and I was to go somewhere, I might just throw on a shirt with whatever kind of camo I had and everyone in America has some kind of, you know, hunter camo. That's actually not a bad idea. Let's try that out and uh, we'll get some more feedback. We can always change it as we go. Let's go ahead and let's change. Unfortunately, there's no camo available for this top. Let's see if we can find something a little casual that someone might just have. T-shirt, eh, how about, uh, no, there's no camo on that one. It sucks that none of these have camo options. Ubisoft really needs to make a good, solid... Um, here we go. This might just work. Ubisoft really needs to give us, give us more clothing. They need to... Even if I have to pay for it, I'd pay 10 bucks for just a huge clothing pack. I mean, come on. You know, like, really. Which of these can I wear camo with? The jacket? Okay, well, let's just try this. Let's put some, like, hunter camo, the kind of stuff that you might pick up at a lo local sporting goods store. Uh, this is something that you would see. It's pretty common. Uh, that, not so much. The best, most common hunter camo would be something like this. I'm going to throw this on for now. Take your guys' input. For now, let's go put this build into practice. Okay, here we are at some uh, random cartel outpost in... Where are we? What, is this in uh, Okoro? Okay. So we are in Okoro. And I made a couple changes to the character on the way here. I, I decided against that jacket. I still like the hunter camo ID. I did decide to go with the t-shirt. I forget that because I play a female character, my character's arms are scrawny and not very cool looking, but especially the big tough guys with all the tattoos, like so many people like to play with look really tough in a t-shirt. I decided, yeah, let's do the, let's do the t-shirt. And uh, I did, since I bought that wilderness pack to get the, uh, the, the deluxe pack to get the wilderness sh uh, shotgun. I also got some sunglasses and a new backpack, which actually I thought went with this pretty well too. They're the same sunglasses I was wearing, except they have the cool little orange lenses. And then I bought a bigger, I used that bigger backpack from the deluxe pack simply because if I was like realistically gearing up for a mission in Bolivia, I think I would buy something just a little bit bigger than that backpack I was using. I think I would get something with more pockets like this, so I decided to use this as well. And so here's where we have to decide the tactics that the American gun enthusiast would use when taking a base. And I haven't really, honestly, given much thought to this. Would he use a drone, you know? Would he go in guns blazing? What, what kind of tactics would he use? And I think that's an interesting thought, you know? I think we actually had decent high ground where we were right here. And so I'm going to approach this like I would most normal other things. Let's definitely take this guy out. And uh, I'm not going to use the drone. Now, w would he use a drone? I don't know. You can get him everywhere. Hell, I've seen drones for sale at the gas station. Granted, they were not advanced military recon drones. But n nonetheless, there is that option. I'm going to take this with no drone and just see how it goes. These are usually the video clips that I use for the actual gameplay of the character in, in, the, you know, in the final video. So let's just take this as it goes, and it might make for some interesting video. Is there a guy up there? I do have it in normal mode, so I can see the little orange blobs on the map where they're at. Let's just be really sneaky, and uh, let's just sneak up on this sniper, then we'll have his vantage point. That's what I vote. 
Where's he at? Where's he at? There he is. American Kung Fu. That's, that's that right there. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, there's a guy. There's a guy. I like to do weapons recon. I think it's way more fun than the drone. There's obviously a guy in that little pillbox down there. Here, let's just take this guy out and have some fun and see what happens. Nothing. No one noticed. Oh, that guy did. Oh, no, but he might. So I still need to decide on a playstyle for this character. We're gonna do some cool. Let's get a let's get a little more action packed. I mean, these aren't fun if they're not action packed. So let's get in here, get some action thrown down. We know there's a guy in here. There's got to be. Bam, bitch. That's right. All right, and we know that. You know what? We're in the base. We're going this way. So let's go ahead. Let's take the shoddy out. Let's get some shoddy. Let's get some shoddy shots. Well, where they're required, not required for here. I like to use melee whenever I can. It's just, it's cool. Make sure we're not in first person. Okay. Oh, the rebels are helping us. Sweet tits. Not bad. Okay, we got some guys down here. Oh, we can sneak in right here. Oh, we can't? Got a guy up there. And a guy right there. Well, they know we're here now. That's okay. I think this is fairly American style. Looks like the rebels that got that guy for me. Yeah, this feels American style. Little run and gun. Once uh, radio silence is broken, why not, right? Okay, there's guys here somewhere. <laughs> I like the Sega 12. I like the choice. Good stuff. Very good stuff. All right, guy's gonna be in here. Oh shit, there he is, oh man. <laughs> you sneaky little bastard. Okay, so uh, wow, that was easy to take. I can actually probably pull some decent footage from that. You know, I started off kind of stealthy with the M4 and it does have that option. When you open up into a base, you have that suppressed weapon. But I think that, uh, I think the Sega 12 might just be the bread and butter of this. I mean, Americans are known to be cowboys, right? That's like the whole thing. Reckless cowboys. Fast food and reckless cowboys, right? So I, I think that might just be the ticket for this. So that's been a little bit a little bit here. You know, we made some clothing changes. So tell me what you think about, uh, about, the, different, about the different clothes. I still want to stick with the kind of dirty looking khakis. I realize that's actually a camo pattern, but it makes them look dirty. And I definitely am down with the decision on this t-shirt over the previous casual shirt I had. This does look a little less blue collar. It looks a more a little more like, hey, I'm going to a different country to do some war. Let's at least go to the sporting goods store and pick up some kind of camo to disguise myself a little bit. But it's not like, you know, again, I do got to disagree with the blue jeans part. I'm going to have to go with this, I think, personally. Although the t-shirt is small enough, and of course my character does have skinny arms, but for a norm, normal mayor character, for a normal male character, it will fill it out a little better. I still wouldn't go with a heavier vest, though, because that's going to really kind of work against the t-shirt. So I like this lightweight, more kind of vest that I'm wearing. I think this is probably just a Molly vest. What kind of... Oops, what kind of vest is this that my character is wearing? It's the it's the Molly. Yeah, it's. I, I think that goes good with the t-shirt. I like the choice of sticking with the Sega 12, even though I love the wilderness. I showed you that. I think it'd be better with a different build, and I like to have all my builds different. Also, let's go back here yet again. Um, of course, I like to stick away from paid content when I can. 
So the sunglasses were a small touch, but for me, I like the little orange glare off them a little better. This backpack is just, uh, well, backpacks, what do they matter? You could say they matter a lot because that's what you're staring at when you play your character. Or you could say, hey, there's plenty of other similar backpacks in here. I went with this one because I just unlocked it and I like the look. I did previously have this one here. And uh, I'd probably take something over that, you know, like this. But there's there's other plenty of other good ones to choose from. So tell me what guys what you think and tactics too. We need some ideas for tactics. We got a little bit of footage laid down there. I'm pretty happy about that. I did some good running gun. I think that I do picture this character a little more run and gun. If this were a base with several alarms, I probably would have opened up with the M4. But since I knew there were no alarms here, since when I mouse over it on the map, since I can see this just has three mini guns and a power generator, I knew that there's really no reason to be sneaky. However, and so uh, in future in the future videos, we need to get some gameplay down, and so I can get to the other stuff because we're, it's already Friday, so we're getting you know we still got Saturday, Sunday, Monday to get everything else done with this character. So uh, we got a little bit of time, but we do need to get on some of this action stuff and the tactics and skills. So tell me also, guys, what, what kind of skills do you think would be important? I usually take that into account after I do a bunch of gameplay and I get a feel for the character. Then I say to myself, okay, what kind of skills that I primarily use? So let's take all that into account. And we're, we're getting, I think we're really making good progress on our American gun enthusiast build or all American build. So guys, tell me what you think about this. And oh, I totally forgot the uh, I totally forgot the, the the giveaway word for this week. I hate to leave it till the very end of the video. I, d I don't usually mean to. I got so wrapped up in this. I totally forgot. Okay, guy, guys, today's giveaway a secret word is have. That's today's secret giveaway word. So remember that. And if you're not familiar with the giveaway contest that's going on this week, definitely check out the little two minute video I linked in the description below. It explains the rules and in its description it says spells the rules out exactly. Read those rules word for word because there is something I will give you a hint. This quote, this movie quote that uh, links to the giveaway, which gets you Weaver's backpack. It's not a trick question. It's not. I'm not going to trick you guys, but there's definitely there's something in it that's very easy to miss. So read the rules word for word. Okay, guys. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry to leave the secret word till the very end of the video and make you watch the entire thing. But hopefully you had fun watching it. I know I had fun making it. Guys, I'm Dark Dally. I will catch you all next time.